Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play Persona Q. In the last episode, we entered this strange labyrinth-like dungeon called You in Wonderland. And this, and last before we left off, Rise said she had seen two or sensed two interesting presents in here that weren't shadows. I guess all we can do now is press forward and seeing what those things could possibly be. So let's see where we can find out from up here. All right, nothing around here. Let's go open this door. Come on. Oops, I went backwards. <laughs> Over here. I'm a total idiot. That's that was towards the exit. We want to keep going this way. You can run. Um, right now it's it's optimal in some cases, but not all the time, huh? Wait, I think I heard something. <laughs> you hear what sounds like a person crying. Well, I would be crying too if I was in this strange labyrinth. Yikes! What is this? A labyrinth. Hmm, alright, so someone's crying nearby. Interesting. Alright, okay, there is the door we want to go through now. Now, this kind of. Ooh. You don't recognize those students. I think they're the ones I was picking up on earlier. Who are you? No oh mind. Not um, ominous at all. Don't point that at other people. It's dangerous. I'm asking who you are. Huh? Well, uh, uh I'm Chie Satanaka. You're students at Yasugami High, right? I mean, guessing by your uniforms. S students at Yasugami High. Yes. She sounds like she's hypnotized or something. This cute girl goes here. I want to go to school too. I'm gonna start going to Yasugami High. Oh boy, Teddy Pless. Yeah, yeah, be quiet. Are you two okay? There should have been shadows here. Oh, <laughs> shadows are. Do you mean those monsters? They did attack, but I drove them away. Well, let's go to them, Mr. Collared Boy. You did? But weren't you crying earlier? What's wrong? I was scared. I, I was scared, but Zen kept saying that we need to go in. Oh. Yes, it must be scary being in a place like this. Were you about to go further inside? That was the intention. But, but there's still a long, long way to go from here. My bear nose works a bit too, you know. So it's gonna take a while, huh? Then shouldn't we go back? I want to check in with Yosuke and everyone. Go, go back? I want to go too. I want to go back. Please, Sen. Can we go back? Very well. We will come with you. Huh? All oh, right. Of course. I am Zen, and she is Rei. That's what we call each other. Zen Kun and Rachan, right? Don't worry, we won't leave you here. Ah, thank you. All right, and now I've got two new party members. Um, it's not wise for us to go any further in this labyrinth, but as Teddy was saying, there is still a long way to go in here. And yeah, oh, okay. Once the okay, yeah, I can. I don't need this. Yeah, I already, I already showed off running. That's how you run. Um, later on, it's not the best to run, and we got a battle, even though we... Okay, whoever. Three shadows, and I'm missing data. Okay, so... <laughs> that lips are always so funny. Okay, as humorous as ever, Yukiko. Let's get off a free hit on that. Um, I forgot what those cowardly Mayas are weak to, so let's try some Bufu. Uh, we'll just attack you. My skills are everywhere right now. Um, okay, let's just use... You on the Maya because you don't know. At least no one here is weak to ice that I'm aware of. Okay, well you is not as resistant to ice as. Okay, these two do dual attack together, by the way, and whoa, a critical one-hit kill. All right, got off the Zio. Drop kicked him. Hit him with a fan. 
and if the enemy is destroyed, the I think the AI will target. Um, I forgot who they would target. It's normally random, I guess. I don't know. Leader skills. Oh, cool. We can use those now. Um, the game will explain it later on, but I'll explain it now. Leader skills are a special ability. Um, what the spotlight does will allow you to act first. On the other, on the right on the uh, right corner is um, our leadership abilities. That, as um, we go further up, we'll unlock more abilities, and the more attacks we do, the faster that meter will go up. Um, the higher level reset becomes, the more abilities we get. But we don't really need that right now. So let's just use a Zeo. Let's just use Super Punch. Let's just attack. Let's uh, let's heal you, and she's another one of those. And this should be pretty much done. Yep. Didn't even need to get anyone else. Oh wait, it was knocked down. Thought it died. <laughs> All right, now it's dead. All right, we getting level ups here. Of course you would, Chie. All right, a lot of cool stuff. These will come in handy a lot later on, which we'll probably see um, after we leave here. It seems the shadows you defeat it drop something. Obtain shadow piece. Senpai, your energy is getting low. Be careful. All right, we want to get out of here. I don't think it's likely we'll get attacked on the way out. Let's just let's make a run for it. And should we leave the labyrinth? Yes, we should. In front of you in Wonderland, Yosuke and Naoto have returned from investigating other areas of the school. Welcome back. Rei-chan and Zenku, right? Oh, wait, or is it Rei-san and Zen-san? Uh, how old are you guys? I mean, like, what year are you in? What year are you in? Huh? I'm a first year. A first year? Oh, then we're the same age. Ganji, you're not, you're, not, you're not suspicious by your answering at all. What are you two doing in there? I thought we needed to get out of here. We were looking for a place to leave from. Leave? If you want to leave, use the school gate. Do you, like, uh, have no sense of direction? As blunt as always, Kanji. There is no exit. And now we're in hell. A school with no exit is the definition of hell. Huh? There is no exit. Thought so. Wait, what? There's a school gate, but we can't get out that way. Can't you climb over it? Secret passage that Kanji Kun usually uses didn't exist at all. How Kanji break hey, it? How do you know about the hole in the fence? I mean, I used it just this morning. There's no way it ain't there. It's not there. We can't leave the school. So now, now tell spies on Kanji. Go figure. And then there's that clock tower. You mean the one in the seven horrors? It would be faster to show it to you. Please, follow me. The Yasugami High Schoolyard. There appears to be a clock tower standing in the center of the yard. It's for real! There actually is a clock tower here! Hmm. It was demolished before Yukiko Senpai and the others began elementary school, correct? I don't know exactly when, but I think it was around that time. But I thought it was more like a small monument than an actual full-size tower. At least I don't think it was so big that a person could go inside. Size aside, looks like we can't go inside this one either. Huh? Even though it's this big? Yes. There's no door. Alas, if only we could enter. I thought we'd find some sort of clue. I see. Hey, Zenkun, Reichan, do you know anything about this clock tower? Um, it's been here all this time. Is the clock stopped? It is moving, but it's extremely slow. Slow? Neither Ray nor I know anything about this building, but... That bell did ring. So the bell we heard must have been this clock tower's bell. The bell rang, and I entered that labyrinth with Ray. That's where we met you. You went in after hearing the bell? May I ask why? I felt that that's what needed to be done. 
I see. Hmm. It seems that this isn't Yasugami High. I don't know. I could have probably put that out the moment we walked out of the Velvet Room. This place is very similar to Yasugami High, but it's somewhere completely different. Maybe we're in the past? Hey, why don't we go see Margaret? Sorry about that cut there. My capture card wanted to fall out of the computer, so that's unfortunate. Anyway, let's continue on. Oh, yes, that's a good idea. So we're going to be off to see Margaret. After all, she should probably know what's going on. I hope. The Velvet Room. Margaret is standing here with a very serious expression. Ugh, what a mess you've dragged me into. What do you mean, what a mess we've dragged you into? You're the one who brought us in here. Wait, we dragged you into this? Um, what is this place? It seems this is a haven in the rift. A place that exists between dream and reality. It connects to the world of the collective unconsciousness. Hmm. It must be similar to the TV world you are all familiar with. So that's why there are shadows here, and we could summon our personas. So if we go far enough, could we find the TV at Juness and get out of here? But why are we in such a place? No, we're not going to discuss this possibility? Okay. I don't know the reason, but do you remember what I said before? Nothing meaningless happens here. That is a lie. I have walked into the Velvet Room by accident several times while trying to save, and, uh, yeah. Reality and this haven in the Rift connected via the Velvet Room, and you all descended here. It happened by necessity. Indeed, one could call it fate. Fate? There is something that you must do here. That is all I know. What, 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 bleh, what we must do, what if we don't do it? That's all I want to know. Unless you accomplish what must be done, there will be no way back to reality. So we'll be stuck in this school forever. Yeah, we're in hell. In other words, we won't be able to leave here? <gasps> For real? Actually, yeah, that is the definition of, it was bad, because you'll be in a rift in time, where time is never passing, so in... Your own reality, time is at a standstill, probably until you leave this area, and we're just getting into a bunch of stuff that's giving me a headache, I think, about. Let's continue on this conversation. Is that why the students are acting so weird? All they say is Yasugami High's culture festival is fun, and let's go to the carnival shooting gallery. It's like the answers they give me don't match my questions. I can buy what they're selling, though. Also, I don't see anyone else I know here. I mean, not that I know every single student's face, but there's no way I wouldn't recognize even one person. All they do is speak words. You cannot communicate with them. But we can sure as heck give them our money. Huh? The students here aren't human. They're something like phantoms. Shadows will not attack them. As far as I know, those monsters you call shadows have never come out from that labyrinth. I do not know why, but it's always been so. Always? How long have you two been here? Hmm, a, a pretty long while? What about before coming here? We were here when we gained consciousness. We don't remember anything before that. RPG trope number one, amnesia. Our memories were taken. RPG trope number two, stolen memories. Taken? And I will find you, and I will kill you. Wait, by who? I don't know. Hmm. But you remember having them taken? But I remember having them taken. You're just repeating what she just said. But how would someone take another person's memories? Could that someone be here? I don't know. Uh, could our memories get taken too? Don't know why, I'd be kind of counterproductive. I don't know. This seems pretty serious. Actually, no, that would make it even more like hell. If we're in here losing our memories, have no memory of her coming here, have no memory of how to escape here. Good grief, this is actually some sort of bad horror film. Yeah. Uh, wait, for real? Does this mean there's a bad guy here? Kanji's late to the party as always. 
In any case, let's look for a way to leave here. The clues must be in that labyrinth. It's obviously different from everywhere else here. Leave? Uh, I want to leave too. I want to go back with everyone. Ray? Zen, let's leave together, okay? I, I want to go back too. All right, if that is what you wish. I have a favor to request. If you are going to enter this labyrinth, I ask that you take us with you. We won't be any trouble. I will protect Ray, and I can fight the monsters in this labyrinth. That's reassuring. We'll look for a way together. You don't look strong now. Eh, let's go ahead and get out together. We're not going to be douchey, you. Yes. Wait, what? Hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh, oh. Takoyaki? Where'd you pull that out from? That's what I want to know. I know something. Happiness comes in the shape of Takoyaki. Wow. She's a Yosuke level disappointment. Did you just insult Ray? <laughs> I, I would never. I just meant that her distinctive looks and personality are amazing. So did he just insult Yosuke? No, 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 Zen, that's dangerous. And she pulled out a corn dog from somewhere. <sighs> you two get along well. I promised that we stay together. I promised to get all cozy together in my costume too. What? With Miss Margaret, of course. Margaret, I would, I would. Can you suplex him? Then I will fulfill my duty as well. As guests of the Velvet Room, I'll assist you as much as I am able. If you are to fight against shadows, you will need to make the necessary preparations. Hmm. Where to start? She totally ignored me! Well... We are to fight shadows, and I worry about our equipment. To proceed safely, we'll want armor to protect ourselves, and weapons to attack the shadows. Useful tools would be also helpful. Ideally, we'd have some place to replenish our stamina. Yeah, I don't like the idea of having to go without supplies. Would this be insufficient? It's a projectile device that uses nearby objects. Its effect changes depending on what it fires. Why don't you all use one too? You have more than one? I wouldn't feel confident using that. I'd probably shoot Yosuke before I got used to it. That'd probably be funny though. I can so see that happening. Seriously, though, we all use completely different weapons. Never mind unfamiliar, it'd be dangerous. I see. Different weapons for each of you. So, it would help if you had weapons? Then you help us find a way. Yeah, then, then they can help us find a way out. They can allow me to protect you. Oh, it's out of, to the harem. Way to go. The art room. There is supposed to be in a hands-on class on making small toys here, but something doesn't feel right. Handcrafted workshop. Was it always like this? Then, then, strawberries! They're like berries full of straw! Wait, what? Full of straw. That's my question, too. I see. Hey, I bet this is your kind of place, huh, Kanji? Uh, well, kinda. Yeah, I think we can use the weapons here. They all seem pretty sturdy and... Huh? What the? These are all toys! Uh, are they no good? It may be possible to imbue them with enough power to fight shadows. What do you mean? Who could possibly do that? Well, I'm pretty sure Margaret could, so let's not ask a dumb question like that. You should find them from time to time upon defeating shadows in the labyrinth. When you find these, please bring them to me. I will use those materials to make weapons, armor, and sundries. Materials? Allow me to give it a try. Please wait a moment. Margaret took the shadow piece from you. Okay, let's see what she does here. 
What do you think? I believe it came out quite well. You tamed the longsword. You tamed the go home. As or the go. Seen, I don't know. I will create your equipment and sundries. But I expect to be compensated for my efforts. That is how contracts work, after all. Nothing comes free. Margaret, if you don't help us here, we'll be stuck here forever. What? How stingy! Also, taking all your belongings into the labyrinth will surely be troublesome. If there are things you do not expect to need inside, you can leave them with me. You're gonna charge us for that too, aren't you? For this lady's sake, I'll look after your belongings free of charge. Hey Reese, you can play a little bit more as so we get some free weapons. You're not able to buy weapons, armor, and other items at the handcrafted workshop. You can also store items here as well. You also desired some place to recover your stamina, yes? I happen to know a perfect facility for that nearby. Will you all follow me? The nurse's office. Huh. Phew! I'm relieved to see it's just a normal nurse's office. Yeah, just normal nurse's office. Are there any nurses here? Hello? Hello, nurse! Oh, I miss the Animaniacs. Don't be sad, Yosuke. I didn't say anything! Your expression says it all, though. I will make arrangements for you to replenish your stamina here. Remember to come here whenever you return from the labyrinth. Thanks. Can you do that? I don't know what that one does. Do I have a choice? My hands are already full handling your equipment. I'm sorry, Margaret. As with your equipment, I will obviously require compensation for use of this facility. Of course. Though my prices will be reasonable, my intent is not to make you suffer. However, what might constitute a fair price is beyond my ken. Oh boy. You'll be fine as long as it doesn't exceed one million yen. No? I can pay a thousand... Ten thousand dollars to get healed? I wish you had even the sense of your average housewife. Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, you can now make all the preparations you should need. If you have trouble, try adjusting your equipment and healing. That may give you the advantage you need. Deciding who will take part in the battles is also key. Don't neglect your formation. Well then, I bid you good luck. All right. Hey, Senpai, maybe you should look over the formation, like Margaret suggested. Now that the whole gang's together, you need to decide on who's actually gonna help out in fights. All right. Sure. Let me tell you what you need to watch out for when setting up your formation. There's a front row and a back row. People in back will be hurt less by enemy attacks. But if you put someone who uses a close range weapon back there, they won't be as effective. Oh, good point. It'll be hard to kick stuff from back there. The Sakunaka style works best from the front. Naruto-kun, Zen-kun, and I will have no problems attacking from the back with our weapons, though. The key appears to be setting up a formation that works with each of our weapons. Should we have an offensive mix, lean on defense, or feel the balanced team? Well, we can adjust as needed. And that's a lot to digest all at once. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine leaving it all up to him. Ah, oh, thanks, Chie. You're a wonderful help. You can change who's in the front and back rows during battle, too. Try mixing it up, depending on the situation. Alright. So, let's see. You can now change party members. Alright, cool. Okay, so in the front row, let's see. We're gonna have Yosuke and Kanji. And in the back row, we will have Naoto. Actually, no, wait. let's have... No, no, Yukiko right here. And we'll have Naoto to help out in the back as well. And we can't put anyone in that last third spot, unfortunately. Oh, wait, yes, we can. Derp. And, um, let's see. I guess we'll put... Oh, no, we can't put anyone back there. Huh, forgot about that. Jumping ahead of myself there. Sorry about that. Anyway, that should be about... That should do it. Sorry for the lack of commentary in the later half of this, but, um... You know, a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of pro information had to be said, and it was better like, let the game explain it than I than myself explaining it because I was you know, like like going on on a tangent and being incoherent and being incoherent about it. So it's better to have it done this way. 
So yeah, next time on Let's Play Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth, we'll be delving back into the labyrinth and seeing what we can find and discover. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, check out the other parts in the series, and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamalad, signing off.